Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you another useful automation by which you can save your time and reduce your manual efforts. And in this video, I'm going to show how you can add members in your membership website automatically. So here we are using Wishlist member plugin of WordPress, which can turn your WordPress website into a membership website. And there you can provide many levels of memberships in that website, like silver level membership or golden level. So here we have created a form using jot form application, which is a membership form. And as and when your user or website visitor is going to fill that form, the same person is going to be added in a specific level of membership in your website that too automatically let me show you how this is going to work so this will be the flow of this automation here as and when any of your user is going to submit your membership form the same member is going to be added as a member in a level in wishlist member plugin automatically and to make this happen we are using Pabli connect which is an integration and automation tool and the best part is you can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge very easily so now let's set up this automation together. So guys, first of all, log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And to reach here, please use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so sign up right now and log in to reach here. And after reaching here, you just have to click on this create workflow button to create a automation workflow and here guys you can provide any name to this workflow so I am giving the name here as short form to short form to wish list member automation so you can give any suitable name according to your need I am just giving the name as this and after filling the name just click on create and you can see your workflow is getting created here and on this page, guys, you will see these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new form submission received from Jot form. And the action towards that trigger would be to add the person who have filled the form in a level in wish list wish list member plugin or the website that you have created with the help of that plugin okay right so here you have to set up your trigger first so select your trigger trigger application as jot form and then select the trigger event as new response okay and it will give you this url so this is called as a webhook url guys and it is used to fetch the data out from any external application and bring it here in Pavli Connect. So by reading these instructions, you can make this connection. Let me show you how, how exactly we are going to do that. So first of all, just copy this webhook URL from here and then go to your jot form applications dashboard, which is this here. I have created these forms and I'm going to use this wishlist member form. Okay. So this is the membership form I have created here. It is. And guys here in the dashboard, just click on this more option and from here, scroll down and click on settings and uh, under the settings page uh, you will find uh, this integrations option on the left hand side panel click on integrations and here you have to search for this webhook okay search for webhooks you can see already our integration is up and running so let me remove this previous in integration okay Let's search for webhooks. This is it. And in this add webhook field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you have copied from Pabli Connect. Paste it here and click on complete integration. And you can see the integration is ready, right? And here you can see as we have copied this webhook URL, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission means we are going to fill the form on the behalf of any demo user and we are going to capture the data of that demo user here in this response so that will act as a test submission for us and with the help of that data we are going to move forward right so this is our form let me fill it quickly on the name as let's say mr zishan is filling this form 
so guys i have filled this form and you can see this form is for getting the silver level membership of our website right so i'm submitting this form and you can see it is saying thank you the login credentials of your membership is sent on your email okay now let's check in public connect first if we got the data of this form submission and here you can see we have received the data in this response section and here you can see uh, this is the details that we got the name of the person is this the email of the person is this okay right now guys let's add this person in a level in wishlist member plugin right for that to happen you have to connect wishlist member here in this action step search for wishlist this is it and the action event would be create a member let me show you this is it create member selected then click on connect and from this win uh, window select add new connection option and here it is asking for the api url and the api key to make this connection with wish, wish list so as you can read these instructions you have to find this key and the url from the advanced option of the wish list member plugin so let me show you so guys, this is my wordpress dashboard and here i have installed and downloaded and activated this plugin known as wish list member you can easily download it from the plugin section or from you can google it and download it and here guys you can see we have this advanced option click on advanced option and here in the advanced section we have this api tab click on api here we have this api url just copy this paste it here and for the key uh, use this key paste it here then click on save all right and you will see that we are connected now and now it is asking for the username the email the password the level to select and all these things to create a member inside this uh, wishlist member plugin so guys i am going to use the data that i have received here in this first step and i'm going to map these labels here to create a, a member okay so here it is asking for the username so for this i'm going to use this uh, username label and for the email i'm going to use this label so guys to map these labels here you just have to click here on this username field like this and from this uh, you can see the jot form new response option is here in the drop down and when you click here it will show you all the data that you have received in the first step so from here only just map the username and for the email use the same process and map the email okay so here it is asking for the password and you can read here add members login password here or it will auto generated if not specified on member creation so if you want to get it auto generated you can leave this blank and if you want to provide specific passwords you can provide it here okay right now i'm leaving this blank and now here you have to select the level so we are providing silver level membership so i'm selecting silver level uh, if you have the company's name you can map the company's name if you have the address and all these details you can map these things right now i do not have these details so i'm leaving these things blank okay now let's check our connection with the wishlist member level here you can see uh, we have this member section and we have these members here let's check our connection i'm clicking on save and send test request and a new level will be oh sorry a new member will be created here uh in wishlist member plugin okay so i'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens so guys this is the response we have received here let's check in our wishlist uh, dashboard if we got a new member and here you can see we got a new member named as zishan khan and it is uh, added in silver level of membership okay so this is how it is going to work and uh, i i can show you uh, the email that this person has received because you can see as i have submitted this form it is saying login credentials will be sent to your email so when you add the member here an email will be sent to your per, to this person who have filled the form and let me show you that how that email will look like so guys this is how the email will look like and you, here you can see it is saying zishan khan you have successfully registered as silver level member please keep this information safe 
as it's contain your username and password and this is the username and this is the auto generated password and this is the login url by which the member can log in uh, in your wordpress website okay so this is how it is going to work guys and you can download this wordpress plugin by this link uh, wordpress.org slash plugins slash wishlist so i can uh, paste this link in the description also and guys we are done setting up this automation guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel